In this lesson, we're talking all about style. And by style, I simply mean the style and format of the videos on your channel. If this is your first time pointing a camera at yourself and talking into a lens, there can be a lot of anxiety around this experience. Is it gonna look professional? Is it gonna look silly? What should my on-camera behavior be like? Well, the good thing is you don't have to answer all of these questions from scratch or in a vacuum or whatever other cliche you wanna throw at it. There are templates out there, successful YouTube videos that offer you a kind of repertoire of different styles that you can take a look at, see how you feel about them, and simply choose one. You can try it out, commit yourself to trying out this style for a few videos, see how it works for you, see how you're feeling about it, and then stick with it or change course. In this tutorial, we're going to talk about what you might think of as different axes or decisions that you need to make in order to decide upon a style. It's not a comprehensive list, but it's gonna get you really far along the way towards figuring out how you wanna shoot your videos, how you wanna orient the camera and the set, what you wanna be wearing, the lighting that you're gonna need, and a whole other set of issues. So let's dive in. One very important decision in determining the style of your channel is the major question, are you going to be on camera? There are channels out there in which an individual is talking into the lens, but there are many channels out there where you never meet the video creator. You only hear their voice as a voiceover, and sometimes you don't meet them at all because they use the channel to, for example, aggregate uh, historical footage or third-party footage with subtitling and other graphics. So one of the first decisions you're going to need, because it's going to have repercussions and knock-on effects for every other decision you're gonna need to make for your channel, is do I want to be on camera? Now a word of warning, if you are a kind of introverted person, a shy person, like me in fact, you wanna make sure that you don't let your shyness, your introversion, make you jump to the conclusion of, okay, I'm not gonna be on camera, I'm just gonna be behind the scenes. There are a number of reasons for that. One is that you're probably a whole lot better than you realize, and you're probably being much harder on yourself than any of your viewers will be. A second is that you will get better over time. A third is that video viewers value the kind of authenticity that comes with seeing a video creator and looking in their eyes. A fourth issue though, and probably one of the biggest, is that contrary to what many people believe, being off camera involves way more production uh, in making a video than being on camera. Voiceovers take time, syncing voiceovers to B-roll takes time, finding B-roll takes time. There are a whole lot of costs, both time and money, involved in creating a channel where the creator, the video creator, is not present at all, at least not on camera. Comparatively speaking, it is way easier to simply turn on the camera and begin speaking to your audience. But of course, the decision is yours. For the rest of this tutorial, I'm gonna operate under the assumption that you are going to be on camera. So now let's dive into some of the other major decisions you're going to need to make about your channel's style. One big question has to do with mood. Do you want a channel that is bright and vivid and crisp, which is going to involve well-lit rooms, kind of a more saturated style, bright and airy? Or do you want to veer more the direction of moody, of dark, of grays, of pastel kind of feeling to your channel? Again, there are successful channels at both ends of this spectrum. But as before, each of these two decisions involved different equipment, different setup, different post-production. And so you're going to want to figure out which of these templates, let's say, you are most attracted to. Also, you need to think about the subject matter or content of your videos. If you write children's songs, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense for you to have a really somber, dark atmosphere. And if you have a World War II history channel, it might not make sense for you to be all sort of bright and giddy. Another factor you want to think about is framing. We do have an entirely other tutorial video on this question, but stylistically what I mean is, do you want the viewer to interact with you as basically a kind of head and shoulders 
figure? Or do you want to be a full-bodied individual? Let's say very far away from the camera, perhaps sitting on a couch, perhaps standing, something where they can see you really head to toe. Again, there are successful channels that use both models, but each of these models has a completely different setup. If I am going to use a full body orientation, I cannot use a mic like this. Instead, I would need to invest in a boom arm mic or perhaps a lapel mic, ideally something wireless. Whereas sitting where I'm sitting right now, there is absolutely no need for me to use a wireless mic or a lapel mic if I don't want to. So what I'm getting at here is that these decisions, these stylistic decisions, have real world monetary repercussions. If you wanna go one way, you need certain kinds of equipment. If you wanna go another, you need different equipment. There are other decisions to make, and we've compiled them all in the course download for this tutorial. Your homework is to download the course materials, work through the worksheet that we've provided you with a list of the different kinds of decisions you'll need to make, plus explore the library of successful YouTube channel templates that we provide you in the course material. These include still shots from various channels that use one or another of these styles, bright, moody, symmetrical, asymmetrical, the mic in frame versus the mic hidden, and other decisions as well. We also provide links to these different YouTube channels so you can see these templates in action. Your one and only job is to sit, watch these videos, and ask yourself, do I like this? Can I imagine trying this on for size? At the end of this worksheet, you are going to be much, much closer towards pinning down what your channel's style is going to be like. And once you do, then we can start to make next level decisions about the equipment you're gonna need, the software you're gonna need, the location where you should do your filming, and a variety of other factors. See you in the next tutorial. Mm -hmm.